hello viewers welcome back in this video we will add button in the HMI device and configure in last video we have added a HMI device in our existing project and configure that HMI today we will add the button in this skin this skin underscore one generate during the HMI add in existing project here a little green play mark means this skin is a start skin start skin is a first skin during the HMI runtime start if we have more than one skin then we can choose the start skin by our own suppose we have another skin like skin 2 then we can make this skin 2 as a start skin and this can be done by two way just select this skin and right button from here define as start skin we can make it start skin or we can go to runtime setting here then double click it will open a dialog in general tab we can select the start skin from here also from click the three dot here here then you can select the skin so I am selecting skin one again so now see here skin one is selected if you have the default template then you can choose it from here now I will make this skin as a home skin so rename the skin as a home screen means start skin now I will add the button from this toolbox here we can see some elements basic object if it is not there then like this then we have to click this click this toolbox then it will open the basic object element like this here from the basic object we can take the line ellipse circle rectangle and text field like this or from the field element from the element we can take the IO field button and this is symbolic IO field today we will not discuss all things today we will add the button so select this button drag and drop the button like this ok here we can send the text or name of this button from here just double click and you can change the rename name of this button or you can go to properties just select and right click of your mouse go to properties from here from here in general we can change the name of this button that it is now strt from here this is a mood if your button label 1 to a text then you can select the text from here you can choose the label as a text or text list or from the graphics we can choose the graphics also so if now I am choosing this a graphics called as a home then see if you select the layer, down arrow key here are some default image you can find here I am selecting this home that it is now home home button
or you can select as a graphic and text that means here home here you can write as a home also when button is pressed here also you can name as a pressed and this is a white white text from the text format sorry from the appearance you can change the text color like this okay there are so many things we can do from animation you can make the color of this button dynamic or flashing from visibility from here you can make this button visible or invisible today i will make a command a motor to run from the hmi okay this is a home button i will not do anything by this button now i will take another button from here and give a name as a start one thing you have to keep in mind that there are two types of tag if you want to write something in plc then you have to use one tag like uh, local tag which is from the data block or you can use the memory flag memory tag and button is a binary operation so we can use the bit we can we cannot use the physical address that means i 0.1 i 0.2 so we have to use flag memory address or data block address today i will use the data block address here we don't have any data block i will add a data block here and name it as a hmi db and in this hmi db i will declare a tag called as start and this data type of this start is bool because i will use it is in button for a binary operation now i will use the button as a uh, start command of the motor to give a command we have to go to event of this button and how we can go to event by two way we can go select this button and right click from here event we can go directly to event or we can go to properties i am going to event from here there are uh, six event for this button one is called the click we can use this click event also we can use the press release this one first i will use the press from the add function first what do you want to do by this button from that add function you can choose that here all the function all the event you can choose from all system function or down alarm calculation script or edit bit here is the all individual section but all the function of the from the alarm to setting uh, can be found in all system function and first i have told that i want to use this button as a motor command so that can be found from that edit bit or can be found from all system function i will take the function from this edit bit first i want to use that from here you can choose the invert bit invert bit in tag like this but i will use that set bit so when i i will make a command that time that tag here you can choose that tag here from three dot i will select from program block hmi here
it is now press select as a tag so when we press this button from the hmi runtime that time the tag start will be set always one so go to doll to plc i have make a doll logic in here that here is the start command so this start command from the physical push switch so i will make the swap switch from the hmi parallel with this start so just branch and make the you know, connect okay here is nothing okay here i will take the hmi start command from the hmi db now i will download and simulate from here now i am seeing that stop signal is not healthy overload is not healthy stop signal is not healthy to make it healthy i will force the all the physical address because it is simulation so we cannot make it ready from the physical input so i will make it force i am floating this force table now i will force e stop by forcing it to one then overload okay force to all here now i will make it ready run so it can be run from the uh, force table too today i will not run from this force table so make it zero now i am stopping it push it will make the zero now i am make it one again okay now i will run this command energize this km1 command from the hmi okay make the hmi runtime simulation by clicking this start simulation now there is no button okay okay from here i'll go again to plc logic now i am hiding this project tree if i give a command start here now see the motor is running but i am release release press and release but still it is one why because when we press it will set as a one we didn't or reset this bit so we have to reset by releasing command so we have to make the release command by add a function that reset bit we have to select that tag same tag that from from press we have set and from release we will reset now again i will simulate now see if we click it will set again see when we 
press it is set when i re release it is zero so by this way we can make a command now how we can stop this so i will make a another i will make another button here that make it a rename as a stop and i will declare another tag called stop stop and that also a bool address and i will give a from plc it is stop and you can copy and paste in release so now again i will simulate in doll we have to in doll logic we have to make a stop logic also so uh, we have make a command from the hmi stop that when we push it will make give a one to plc when we release it will make a zero so during the normal operation it is zero stop signal from the hmi is zero so we have to use a nc contract that hmi db that is stop so download again reinitialize okay now okay if we keep give a stop command that will give a one to this see now i am releasing is it give a zero so nc from by this nc power come from here to here now i will give a command again this came one command is energized now i am giving the stop command okay now i will dynamic this color of the button so go to a skin so when i will give a command that time if the motor is run then this button will be green from the animation we can change the color or dynamic the color from here appearance here i will select the tag from this three dot from the plc tag that plc tag is a q 0 0.1 that is km command if km command is generated then it is green otherwise it will gray like this so add new here if the q 0 0.0 is 1 that time it will green when it is 0 that time it is gray like this so i will make the simulation again start i will now i am starting see it is green now if i command to stop it is stop now okay guys Thank you.